Tickets have been purchased and boy oh boy am I excited to summon on this banner. I mean, look at how sick he looks. With the festivals as of recent, they've been giving them this aura effect, but this is the first kind of character I've seen do something like that. And from his animations, everything like that, he is absolute fire. Unfortunately, the banner isn't the greatest. The coin shop commandments are all pretty bad, but we do of course have some of the archangels here. Still haven't had a banner with the red time which is mad unfortunate. And unfortunately for myself, I have all of the festivals here, six out of six. I mean, we can always use the extra festival coins for when the day comes that DN actually comes out to be purchased. But hopefully, I mean, my luck, especially with these Holy Fest banners, or is it the, yeah, Holy War Festival banners, is usually fairly good. So hopefully we can keep that streak up. And my goal is always to get three six within the first rotation. That is, not bad by any means, but it's not insanely lucky as well. It is definitely on the luckier side though. So if you guys are summoning the spinner, by all means, let me know how you're going in the comments section. And starting off with an SSR, we don't usually do that. And it has been quite some time since I've had a one and done in Grand Cross. There's so many other Garcha games I summon on where I can easily, easily pull the unit. But when it comes to Netmarble and the, the game I make content on, they do not spare me any luck, that's for sure. Come on, please. I don't think I've actually had a one and done my entire time making content on this game. Maybe a double? Okay, quite a few SRs. I think we're about third or fourth in for the SSR, so if we could get Esterosa right off the bat. The Festerosa that we've been waiting ages for, there was a point where we thought we'd maybe get him for third year, but that never happened, or at least the Japanese third year, I should say. And then a little closer to that, we thought we were getting my yell, but it's finally here. We thought we were gonna get him ages ago. I think we actually thought when we got the Festecution of Zeldris, we thought it was gonna be this Esterosa instead, but good to finally have him in the game. Good to have a unit that hard counters the Red Dian, because I've been absolutely struggling with her in PvP as of recent. She's, I don't know, especially with Red Tarmiel in the game. If you can 6 6 that Red Tarmiel, he does wonders for that unit, man. She was underrated upon release, but even. <laughs> Tarmiel just makes her so broken. Easily top 5 for PvP. So much for this SSR being super early. A Chandler. We, we of course, they weren't going to give us the Estorosa right out the gate, but. Chandler's still a good pull. I do already have him 6-6. I actually went so hard for that unit upon his initial banner. He released with the Festeros that we were talking about earlier. And unlike most other banners where you get to the end and you can pick between the two banners, because it was a Fest banner, you could only choose between the... Well, you couldn't choose anyone. It was either the Estorosa or the uh, Zeldris or no one else. So you had to get lucky in order to get the Chandler. And I went two whole rotations just to get him. I'd already 6-6 the Zeldris in those first two rotations, but that was actually dreadful. Of course, mate, if I didn't make content on the game, there was no way I would have done that whole extra rotation to get the Chandler done, because I believe at the beginning of my first rotation, I had the Zelda just four, six, so really, really good luck, that's for sure. Back-to-back -back shafts after that. Of course, no new animations, anything like that. I have steered away from watching any content from the newest Rosa, so all of the PvP videos and that will be first impressions. I've heard very good things, though. And of course, if there was new animations, I 100% would have heard about it by now. Man, not looking not looking too good. We do always take the stamina coins. Still trying to grind the box CC. I've, as of recent, gotten all my belts and orbs done rare on all of my characters. Uh, five Star Awakening and done all the HP stuff for that. Okay, another SSR. Surely we can get a Esterosa on the demon animation, right? Surely? Yeah, I do really wish there'd be some other festivals units in here that I could actually pull. I think DM might actually be the only one, though. The end. I do need another dupe in melee as well, and then yeah, that just about does it. <clears throat> so just those two there. When it comes to all the other units in the banner though, all the crane shot commandments are either 6-6 six, six or 5-6 and above. What a... Okay, we actually got a double and quite a few SRs. Are we starting off with the SSR? Okay. Come on, surely the... Surely we get a double Esther Rosa? A Bellion. I do not miss you, that's for sure. Where are the rest of the Six Knights of Black? Because that released, he released way, way, way ages ago. I thought we were going to have some kind of event to do with that. And we we're going to have Pump and all that get released into the game. But yeah, I mean, I'd also think by the Japanese third year, we'd have Grey Road in the game. But another Chandler, come on, man. Not doing me, not doing me any service, given these kind of units. However, that might actually upgrade my Bellion a bit. I couldn't imagine I would have put... No, no, mind. okay, I already... <laughs> For some reason, I've leveled up my Bellion. Do not know why that is. Back to back SSR. That's all right. I haven't checked out what the PvE content is for this game. We do have the Crab Boss coming back. The Crab Boss is one you can do by yourself fairly easy as well, so not something you have to rely a crazy amount on having a good partner for. And still haven't been doing the Skull and Hardy a crazy amount. I get the first stage done. I will, of course, be getting the Festicutioner Relic, just due to how much I use him and how good of a CC 
is and the back line, all that kind of stuff, using him as association. I feel like he's probably going to be a must get for me. He also does fit into all those debuff teams fairly well, which is some of those teams that I really, really like using in the game. Surely not another another loss right here. Oh, come on, man. Surely, if this was if this was Dokkan, my oh my, would I have already would I have already gotten the unit at this point? Yeah, my luck in that game is insane. I just started doing summoning videos, and like I say, would not saying that Grand Cross summons aren't hype, but with how good my luck is in that game, they would they'd be something. <laughs> uh, and when the stuff isn't guaranteed as well, which is why I think Grand Cross is the best Garcha game. It is, although some people would say otherwise, super, super free to play. The fact that you can actually get a pity. I know most gacha games give pity, but Dokkan's is just delayed pity. The coin system is absolute dog water. Got our five singles here because I didn't want to buy the big bundle again. I mean, I've been getting some pretty crazy single luck, but I don't think that's going to, I don't think that one's going to pull through today. Goddamn. God, I think we've got this one and then just one more of the singles. SR Jericho. Now let's finish it off, we can get back to the multi-summons. Who knows, if the Estorosa banner was a bit better, I'd maybe think about going a second rotation, but it just doesn't really seem worth it, especially with the crap they pulled with Freya forcing us pretty much to 6-6 him. I don't really like when games do that. It's cool making a unit a must summon and all, it just means, because obviously there are going to be banners in the game that you're going to have to skip, or you should probably be better off skipping, so making banners where, you know, you should 100% summon for them, is definitely the case to go, but man, a, a must 6-6. Six, six. I went the full three rotations, only going 5-6. Heartbreaking, heart, heart, heartbreaking. When's the day we're going to get new SR and R units? I know that's probably not something everyone's looking forward to. Wrong Estorosa there. Definitely have that one 6-6 six, six as well. Finally building up my Estorosa sets. I don't think I'd used any of my Estorosa, you argue. So, uh, I think the last time I would use it probably would have been one of the first, the first or the second Tower of Trials. It was, there was like an alligator stage, I think it was stage 24, extremely difficult. I ended up building him full UR set and even bought some costumes for him just to try and finish that. Back when, back when your boy was free to play, god, how long that was. Come on, Eye Flash surely means something, right? Oh, come on, Net Marvel, what is this? We're not even getting, we have had some double SSR, we had a double SSR. A third of the way into the summons. Surely not leaving today with a 1-6 Estorosa. Come on, man. It's tough to buy costumes. I was a little disappointed with the costumes. Don't get me wrong, I do think they look really cool, and I think his default costume looks really, really sick, but I don't know. We've been getting... Some characters in the game just have such cool costumes. I understand them giving him the fire one because it matches what the Fest Cell just has and what the Assault Mameliotis has. You can have them all matching in the front. But the Red Gallant, I think that might actually level him up a bit there. Surely I haven't... I've leveled Red Gallant? Ain't no way. It, this is one of those banners that it gives, gets you to level 80, right? At least I thought that's what I saw earlier on. Hold on, we'll quickly skip this one and we'll have a look. Might even have a reset if we get to 600 and still no Estorosa, because this is this is terrible. Terrible. Okay, we'll go to rates. Uh, yeah, okay, so it does get you to level 80. Damn, so I really have them both level 80. Is there... What units don't I have level 80? We'll scroll down here. Uh, let's see, we're going from here down. I don't think there's going to be any we can actually benefit from. Blue Molescular maybe, although I think it's the Red Molescular in the banner. And then maybe the Blue Fraudron, however I doubt that'll be him in the banner as well. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, Red Molescular, and then no Fraudron by the looks of it. Mm, I have heard that the Green Demon Hendrickson is actually pretty decent with the Estorosa as well. Don't think the Demon Hendrickson has a whole... Yeah, he's a Demon, of course he wouldn't have a Holy Relic yet. Man. <laughs> we need new animations in this game, god damn. If we were to get something like a barn animation or a fairy king animation, it would go so, so hard. And if you guys made it this far in the video, let me know what kind of teams you'd like to see me use the Estorosa on, because I could imagine they'd just be all your typical demon teams. We can always try some other things out, though. I feel like he might be interesting with Keo or the Ignites. However, I think the Ignites he gives are Grey Ignites. Once again, don't really know a crazy amount about his kit. Obviously going to be trying to use them as much as possible with the Assault Mode melee. I feel like I might be best going off with a HP crit for Assault melee because as long as he gets the crit off, which although for him now is pretty rare considering his crit chance, as long as he has the HP to survive those hits and get the debuffs out, he can build up really fast. I think you are always better using him off on a HP set, especially if you do have him 6-6. Six, six. He'll still hit crazy good numbers. And then obviously using them alongside Sigurd. Sigurd just works so well with the Demon team. It's actually hilarious. Don't think we're going to be getting anything here. We could still win the 
Yeah, ouch. We were, we were holding through, we hadn't lost anything up until the end there. Yeah, I still haven't made the Holy Relic for a second. I was meant to get that one done. I'm only a couple more of the bird raids off. I might be able to get it done before the PvP showcases. <laughs> How is this going this poorly? Come on, please. I wouldn't even be mad if we got the first SROC. I usually like to see the animations come through. But at this point, I'm just... I'm asking for anything. Red Sariel's also already 6-6. God damn. That's also a sad part about wailing on games is once you once you can't use dupes for characters, of course you can always use them for super awakening, but when you're not actually feeding them into characters. Nah no man. Now this is actually going appalling. I think I might Ludosiel, I suppose. We'll do one more, or we'll do one more summon, and then I'll hit the reset. I only got 200 more gems to go. Come on, right? I'm pretty sure... Who was it? Uh, someone got three... I think it was Marilli got three six in one rotation. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, well... Just one more. Just one more and we'll hit this reset. And now I'm really feeling this next SSR, wherever it may be. Get the counter melee, please. Another Sariel. Yeah, no. Not the, not the SRS we're looking for. I will say though, that loading screen is so goddamn good, and we should get another couple tickets after I do all of the events and stuff, so I will probably get another summon to do on the banner. Luck always ends up being a lot better when I hop off camera as well. Maybe that's maybe that's the way to go. <laughs> There's no way. I, the summon videos are probably some of my favorite to do on the channel, so... Also the best for the face game reactions, if we ever manage to pull anything good in this game. Goddamn, if you guys are summoning on this banner, I'm really hoping your luck is just a lot better than mine. This is... I can't, I can't think of any more bat. Hold on, the luck could, the luck could definitely turn around here. I'm struggling to find more negative words to use about how just... Oh, summons, man. Why I spend my money on these games? Come on, surely we can get a... Surely we can get a triple SSR with how these have been going. Get to see the man in the Myth of Legend desk and all. I wonder when we get new animations as well, if there will be one for a triple SSR, because that's not something that happens all that often. Man, I really need to fix the light on my face in the camera. You see the fire there and the whole camera just goes orange. Kurusan. <laughs> Come on. Get the W? The double SSR? Okay, so we're getting a fake out. That's always hype. I wonder if fake outs have a higher chance of getting SSRs. I could imagine that'd be saying that it'd already be dunked, uh, be debunked by now. Got the homie Simon. Really like to go back and make the wild gear for some of these rare characters because still working on the box CC. Sank I'll have to get done eventually. I wonder when the next collab will be as well, because I'm always super cautious about saving UR stones for when those drop, because you're most likely making UR sets for four new characters. If you're wanting to pitch show them off in PvP and whatnot. I suppose I could always just do ungeared showcases, but we we prefer geared massively on the channel here. Okay, thank god. That wasn't Zeldris. I mean, it didn't. I mean, thank God it wasn't Estoros. I didn't double click it, so we still actually got to see the animation. So, if they get with Zeldris, surely Zeldris, the other demon brother, not Meliodas, we get the new Festicution of Zeldris. Is that him? No, it's Monspe. Ouch. I mean, it's two new demons where we're getting on the right track. We're getting SSRs now. We're getting demons. The reset may have actually done something. <sighs> Come on. Why do I feel like the. Esteros is going to be right after the milestone. You know what, since we will have gems left over from afterwards, uh, I might actually see... No, it's a festival character, so they're all going to be purchasable for the actual money. I think I might just go ahead and use the rest of the gems if we have an extra summon or two here. God damn. Oh, sun and the... Oh, I saw the star. So many times you get the stars and then you also get the sun. It doesn't really make sense, but... Get the counter there. I mean, we can still, we're doubling up on a lot of these SSR animations, so. Could potentially get another double. You could always get a triple. What was the last battle was that? I believe it was on the, yeah, no, it was on the DN. The swimsuit DN just released. I believe we got a four SSR multi, which I was so goddamn hyped for. You can go ahead, the video will be linked in the description, but four SSRs, three of them. Three out of the four SSRs were all Hawk and also. There we go, double SSR. We could have got a, easily could have got another Eskinar animation, they would have been sick. I haven't got any Lost Vein animations though, throughout the video. Yeah, four SSRs, three of them were Hawk and Oslo, and then I'm not too sure who the other ones. The only units I could have used on the banner was the Blue True Seeker Merlin as my fourth dupe, 
and the Green Noblest East, and I still haven't got her yet. Only character that I'm missing, obviously, other than the top 100 characters. No fake out rip. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm maybe getting a little bit greedy here. SR Meliodas. Actually, we were getting two, right? I've already skipped past one of the SSRs. Oh, okay, now here it is. Okay, so, listen to this, right? We go green Esterosa, and then, plot twist, blue Esterosa shows up as the next SSR. Now, Marvel, you hear me? I mean, it's our first fest, and we're, what, 800 gems into the banner? I suppose, well, it'll probably be heaps of time until DN comes back, so we can, we can save that one. Come on, man. Back to back double. Yeah, got the eye flash. I might wait this one out until we see if we can lose the fight. Yeah. Yeah, ouch. Why do, why do all the summon videos have to go this way? Why end up marble? Yeah, I know we're going over the pity milestone. Surely we can just get one dupe. I don't think he's a unit that relies super heavily on dupes. Stars in the Sky Demon. Surely we can get Rainbow Text and win and... Huh? Okay, this is looking really good again. Honestly, the SSR rate hasn't been, especially in this last half, has been really, really good. If we could have kept that for the first and the second third of the summons, we would be absolutely born. I'd be fine even if we didn't get the Esterosa, just because the amount of Super Awakening that it'd give us would be crazy, crazy good. Still such an expensive mechanic, especially if you're free to play. Getting gems and using, sometimes you even want to use your SR coins on something else other than actually investing in it. Okay. So we got, we got the, got the fancy triple SSR to wrap up the first rotation, surely, right? I mean, technically, we could finish this rotation with a 4-6 Esterosa. Hello, my Skiller. <laughs> wow, why is that such a close-up? Jesus. I do not remember it looking like that. Hold on. There's Mon Speed. We're going through, we're going through all the demons here. I mean, we only got one more. Surely, surely two six Esteros. I want just a little bit of CC. The one dupe probably won't help out that much. However, I'll still definitely take it. Don't think that doesn't mean I don't want the dupe. And that is Lodosil, my favorite, my favorite unit in the game. <laughs> oh no. I mean, that's a that's a pretty decent shot right there. Triple SSR. And there we go. Theory, theory is you can really pick between anyone, but there we go. The man, the myth, the legend Esteros, and we have one. Last final summon to send us off here. Should have ended on a high note. I right, flash, we skip, we get Esterosa. Demon Henderson. I do think we can actually use that dupe. That might be finish him off 6-6 six, six there, but there we go. That just about does it for today's video. We'll watch him slide into the box here. That'll get us over. I think I am already over the 9.5. I just have a lot of my gear rearranged and taken off right now, but there we go. That just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like button, subscribe. Really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys for some more. Grand Cross content.